Ha, hey guys, welcome to my Garden Break Blow Fist or Twist review, a Japanese PS2 fighting game developed by Opus and published by ESP Software in March 2007. Some of you will realize that the next generation of consoles with the PS3 and Xbox 360 was just around the corner, and the PS3 was already released in Japan when this game came out. Due to the strange nature of this game's release, it is safe to assume that it is kind of an unknown gem of a game. I will be playing this game on a PS2 emulator, and it runs pretty well on it. The only thing is that some cutscenes like the intro one flickers for me if I try and play it normally, but that's nothing too game-breaking. The Garden manga series was created in 1996 by Baku Yuma Makura and illustrated by Keisuke Itagaki, who is better known as the illustrator for Grappler Baki which this seems to have taken a lot of inspiration from. Additionally, Fisted Twist is a more upgraded sequel or expansion from a 2005 game from the same company with the same name, just without the fist or twist in the title. It has less characters, and it was a bit more stripped down than the new version. This game is violent, crazy fun, just like an old-school Pride FC fight. <laughs> Nevertheless, let's get into some fisting and twisting, shall we? The best way I can describe the gameplay is Tekken meets UFC, but don't be intimidated, as the game is not too difficult. Character movesets are way more simple than in Tekken, and it's easy to pick up any character to see what they do. You have access to 8-way directional movement and have 3 attack moves. Punch, which is square, kick, which is triangle, and special, which is circle, which are specialty attacks depending on a character's fighting style. Additionally, there's the grapple button which leads into the twist portion of the game. More on that later. And there's a guard button, which is X, and it makes holding up while you guard block your face, and holding down blocks your body and legs. There's also a parry move that is done by tapping guard and forward, which can significantly lower the impact of one attack. And there's a back step dodge-like move, which is done by doing guard and back, which is this game's version of a back dash as there is no running or dashing on normal movement in this game unless you are staggered. Sometimes you can roll out of attacks then. The key to this game is the health bar, or fighting spirit gauge, which is decided by the tug of war bar on the bottom. If you do damage to someone, it will push to their side, essentially implying that you gain health when landing good attacks. But on top of that, each character has access to three supers, which are unlocked when their health depletes to the chain links. There are different conditions for supers, and some are counters. <laughs> and some are straight up powerful attacks or grapples, and most of them can be avoided in some way. The supers exist for a comeback mechanic and they fit well in the nature of this game. Late in fights and used properly, some of them can even pretty much insta-kill an unsuspecting player. Then there's a stamina gauge, which can take permanent damage as the fight goes on, and the less stamina you have, the more susceptible you are to getting stunned by some attacks, allowing the enemy to combo you or pressure you. In long fights, eventually it becomes that every hit matters, and defending properly becomes very important. Blocking that haymaker to your head can decide who wins the round, and of course there's the break blows, which is when you do so much damage to a body part that you essentially break it. Kind of like losing a limb in Tarkov, but the impact in this game is a little less. Losing a body part makes it so you take more damage done to your stamina and health, and repeated blows to the damaged limbs or broken parts can lead into stuns and painful hits. It does not take away your character's ability to use moves, even if all limbs are broken though. This game thrives in long and brutal fights where both characters become exhausted. The game strategy develops on a per character and a per fight basis, and can lead to plenty different fun situations and techniques. Games can sometimes last anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes. Constantly landing leg hits, focus that area and force your opponent back. Notice that your head is getting damaged, focus more on blocking your head over your body to save yourself. Realizing you're fighting a grappler, try and blow him out with attack strings and pressure. The list goes on, and there is a ton of fun characters to try to see who you like the most. 
by Bunshishi and his famous Keep in mind the game isn't a tournament or competitive game, so some characters definitely seem a lot more powerful than some, and other characters just exist as jokes. But in true Japanese fashion, you can have giant mutant men like Crybaby. Fight against some sleazebag with a weak body who will never even stand a chance. The animations are also great, which is the primary reason why this game is so fun to play and watch. Characters react in very cool ways to breaking grabs, getting stumbled out of an attack, and even getting knocked out. There's only two things I've noticed with all my time on this game that I don't really like, and one of them is because I don't necessarily understand it, and most of the English guides for this game don't explain it well. The twisting or grappling. I know you can break the star of a grab by grabbing back like in most games, but when in submissions or other holds and grapples, it could be very trial and error to see how you get out of some moves and even finish some of your character's grapples. And even there are super grapples that you can't escape from unless you detect the opening grapple attempt. I found that pressing buttons is less successful for breaking grabs, and usually I just move the left stick in a circle until I break free or just fail it and take the damage. I would assume that each character has a proper input to avoid their grabs, but almost every character in the game has different grabs which can add a lot of confusion. On top of that, some of the twist moves can hurt the pace of the game and really slow it down, especially if you don't know how to react to a certain grapple or if it seems guaranteed. But once again, it's because I don't really understand it, which is where my frustrations mostly lie about the wrestling in this game. But the wrestling is not all that bad, I think some characters just make it rougher than most. Because if it didn't exist, some of the fights wouldn't be as entertaining or nail-biting without it. The second thing is the camera. The camera in this game is a habit of getting blocked by objects on the more crowded maps, and it's hard to see unless both fighters reposition, and if you're fighting against AI, it's not like you could see what moves they're doing if the camera has a garage door in the way of it. But overall, I would still say that for couch local friend fighting games, Garden is very easy to pick up and it's very fun. There really is no fighting game like it. Even though it's older and can be strange at times, the game even includes body damage and fight wear, as blood can get on the floor, on your characters, characters can lose teeth, get their faces and bodies all bruised and messed up. There are plenty of fighters and stages with different properties that could be fun to explore and play around with. And for a PS2 game, although released late, had some very expressive facial animations compared to other games on the system. I just wonder how the game would be released on PS3 at the time, or in modern times. I feel like this is one of the most entertaining casual fighting games I've played since Bushido Blade 2, and I love both these games. On top of the verses, arcade, training, the game has team battle, tournament, survival, and story mode, which can be used to unlock the other characters. It's not a lot of content compared to other fighting games at the time, but it's also a lot more than most modern fighting games as plenty to keep you and even a friend busy for a while. The sounds of this game are good and meaty. It is simple but satisfying. You can tell when you land good hits, and this game has a lot of camera and audio tricks that I wish more games did, such as when some hits slow down time. Each character has their own voices and lines they do when they throw out their supers and get hurt, and the knockout sound is great and satisfying. They did a good job making the sound satisfying and not overbearing. The soundtrack is also pretty good. It's not the best thing ever, but it fits really well with this game. Each stage has its own music which can add to the intensity of a fight and can range from rock music, to more simple, dramatic music. <laughs> Most of it is like rock instrumentals, nice electric guitar riffs, and has that, I don't know, Japanese sound to it. There's no song in the game that annoyed me or took away from the action, and it does a good job supporting what is going on in these fights. And there even seems to be a few unique songs in story mode as well. 
obligatory number out of 10. Garden Break Blood Fist or Twist is almost everything I ever wanted in a fighting game. It has memorable characters, engaging combat, and it's just a blast to play, especially with friends. Each fight feels cinematic and gritty, and the minimalist HUD captures that feeling as well. And if that's not enough, there are unlockables in the story, and some of the fights can be very difficult and rewarding. Each characters have their own cool costumes, most notably the ones with the swaggy suits. Since this game's in Japanese, it's been difficult for me to really read and understand the move list in this game. But maybe one day someone could come along and make a translated move guide or something to allow players to learn characters more in depth. But so far, I'm having plenty of fun just goofing around and getting into long bloody fights, which is something this game does right, where I feel like I'm winging it, but it's still plenty of fun. Grab some beers and maybe some buddies and enjoy the violence. Once again, thank you for watching my video. This one was more brief as there isn't too much to talk about in this game. If you're interested in Garden, go ahead and try and play it today on emulator. It is very easy to find one on internet and very easy to set up. And if you're interested in the lore, there's also plenty of places to read the series online. Next time we will review something I hate or some weird fighting games. Whichever comes first, ha. <laughs> Once again, leave any comments, questions, or please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Have a beautiful week.